Hey guys, Justin Lucas here at Lake Gunnersville and want to share with you guys uh, one of my favorite topwaters that we designed several years ago now with Berkeley, and that is the Cane Walker. Uh, the year I went angler, the year at Lake Chatoog, I caught him on this bait. Recently, John Cox, Shane LaHue, uh, blasting him at Lake Fork on it. So it doesn't matter if you're fishing for spots, even smallmouth and largemouth, the Cane Walker is something that you need to check out. This is one we designed uh, several years ago now. We've been using it for years. It's been a phenomenal topwater bait in tournaments. A couple things about this bait, we it comes in two different sizes, a 110 and a 125, like you see right there. Uh, this is a perfect ghost color. This one is bone, several other color options available as well. But you're gonna find the same unique characteristics on each bait. Uh, number one, they both have three treble hooks on them. Very important when you're uh, fishing topwater uh, for bass these days, they come up, you know, they're kind of spooky. Not sure if they really want something. I always appreciate an extra treble hook on there. That gives me three extra points uh, in a hook to try and hopefully hook those fish. So um, three treble hooks, feathered treble on the back, fixed ball weight on the tail of this thing. So you can cast it a mile. I mean, this thing will cast super, super far, both sizes, rattles, you can hear it right there, really loud rattle system and a cup in the mouth or a cup mouth that allows it to create a lot of disturbance on the water. And really between the size of this, this bait, uh, the rattles and the cup mouth, you can draw fish's attention from a long way away. Uh, that's the beautiful thing about this. So it's maybe not the best bait uh, for a slick, calm day, but if you've got any kind of breeze on the water and you wanna be catching them on top water, the cane walker is the one that you need to be looking at. And uh, we're gonna get out on the water and show you guys the setup I use and where I like to fish it. All right guys, so we're out here throwing the cane walker and you can see we're on a nice little point right here, uh, just inside from this main point right out there. And we have a little bit of chop on the water. It's been a little bit stormy today, a little, little bit breezy. Oh gosh, get it, got him came up and blew up on it, on that inside grass line. He is small, but this is the type of stuff that I like to throw it on. These windy banks, windy points mainly. There you go, right there. So just showing you how to throw that here on this windy point. And of course, that's not a big fish, but you can see how sharp the Fusion 19 hooks are. This is what we're looking for, secondary or main points, wind blowing on them, cloudy conditions, but I'll throw it when it's sunny too. And you can catch some nice bass. Remember, not just largemouth, smallmouth, spots, you catch them all on the Berkeley Cane Walker. All right guys, so we are post-spawn, getting into summer and that is really when I start to pick this bait up. Remember, it's an aggressive topwater bait, so you want those fish to be done spawning, you want the water temp to be warm. It'll work all through summer, all through the fall, until the water really starts to cool down and they're not busting anymore. And then as far as working the bait goes, I'm gonna cover a lot of water when I'm doing this. I'm gonna make long casts and I'm gonna be pretty aggressive with my rod, um, you know, rod twitches, uh, getting this thing to walk the dog back and forth, side to side. So I want it to spit water. I want it to be aggressive on top. I want to be able to call those fish uh, from a long ways away. So my rod, reel, line setup, um, just generically speaking, you know, a 7.2 to a 7.4 medium heavy rod is what you're looking for. You want a fast reel. It's a bait, again, that you cover a lot of water with. Uh, so you definitely want a fast reel. I prefer at least an eight to one gear ratio. Uh, something that's picking up over 31, 32 inches of turn. And then braid, I throw a 30 pound braid to 17 pound mono leader. And that's really it. I mean, pretty simple, the stuff that I use. This is my top water rod I designed with Abu specifically for this type of bait uh, or any kind of walking bait that we make. This rod though is designed specifically for uh, walking baits, it's got a soft tip, it's long, 7.4, medium heavy, moderate action. Um, 
And then, I, you know, I use Berkley X9 Braid. That's my favorite. This is the new Xenon MG LTX in an eight to one. And then on my mono, uh, just Berkley XT Extra Tough uh, Mono. And that's it, really simple guys. Put this bait on straight out of the package, tie it on, it's good to go. You don't have to do any tricks or gimmicks to it. This is all of our topwater baits. They're ready to go right out of the pack and that's one thing that I absolutely love about these because I can recommend them to all my friends, family, anybody, and I have confidence when I tell them they can just open it up out of the package. You guys, you can open them up out of the package time on and you're gonna have just as good a success with them as I do. God, good one too, guys. Like a real good one. Oh. Giant one. <laughs> this is a giant. Look at that. Berkeley Cane Walker. Smashed it right up there, right where we had just fished by. All right, so if you're not gonna buy a, chain, a Cane Walker now after seeing that, you can leave these for us, but I'm telling you guys, you need to get some, you need to check them out. And if I could only have two colors, it'd be the bone and the chrome. That's a nice one for something pounder. Get you some cane walkers.